all right, so we had Usman beat Burns last weekend, mm-hmm. and then he says, hey, there's this street thug out there that I want to give a little piece of my mind to give him a full camp. Let's do this. Then there's some talk. They're going to do the ultimate fighter. And then, and then, and then Masvidal is kind of, you know, responding on, on, on social media and all this stuff. And then out of nowhere on Friday, here's Usman saying, you know what? I'm not feeling generous anymore. Uh, maybe, maybe we're going to go in a different direction. What do you make of everything that's going on here? I'll give you my thoughts after you give yours, or I can give you mine first, but I'm just curious what you make of uh, this Usman Masvidal drama. First off, like I said last week, I, I admit and understand why Usman said Masvidal. Biggest, yeah, fight. biggest fight. I don't believe that the fight does the numbers it did last time. I think no. last time was lightning in the bottle. Um, it'll be more normal. The one thing I, you know, the one thing about Kamaru, I did not, I did not like him saying, give me Masvidal, as I think about it. Because you're the champ. You don't call anyone out, right? They call you out if you're the champion. Um, to say he said something to the effect of he has no choice but to fight me. No, champ. <laughs> you have to choose to fight him, right? Like, that's the one area with, with Usman that I was a little bit like, I don't understand why. I get it, right? But you do that behind you do it behind closed doors, right? Like, you don't... Masvidal ain't giving Kamaru Usman a rematch. Kamaru Usman's giving Jorge Masvidal a rematch if that happens. Um, but I do understand. I understand why he said, because you know what? He went through the Covington fight as the champion, saw the pay-per-view numbers there. He went through the Masvidal fight as the champion, saw the pay-per-view numbers there. So he can see clearly why you want to fight Masvidal. Um, But make him beg for it. Make him beg the champion for his shot. Uh, I I don't know what happened. I haven't spoken to Kamaru about why he decided that he doesn't want to fight him anymore. Maybe Masvidal and the negotiations aren't going as smoothly as he thinks and or thinks that they should be going and – He'll, you know, they, they may have to pivot him in the organization because you got to understand once you're the champion, you're working hand in hand with the organization in most cases to try to get to the preferred destination. Masvidal is the guy on the outside, right? He's the, the guy that if he doesn't want to fight for the belt, they'll just move on to the next challenger, Usman and the UFC. So maybe the negotiations aren't going as smoothly on that side and the other side of the equation is starting to kind of go in a different direction. I agree with the majority of what you said. Uh, I think it was smart for him to target Masvidal. As you said, it's the biggest fight that he could get. It's Mm -hmm. the biggest money fight, if you will, that he could get. It's the most draws that he can get, um, pay-per-view buys, all that stuff. Um, I think what he's trying to do now, this fight's not dead. Honestly, I'd be shocked if this fight doesn't happen. What he's trying to do now is he called his shot. He got what he wanted. He took a picture with the boss. Everything's good. Masvidal didn't come to the table as quickly. And by the way, they're pretty close from what I'm told. And now he wants to change the narrative and be like, no, 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 no. I'm the last one to come to the table. I'm the king here. I'm he is the, the king, top. but he, he is, is the king. king. But I think he's trying to change the way the story is told. I, the champion doesn't come to the table first. The challenger comes. I anoint you and you come to the table before me. I think that's what I- I'm not feeling as generous. Guess mm-hmm. what? His stance hasn't changed in a week. He knows. And the, there's the ultimate fighter involved, too. They're not pulling the plug on the ultimate fighter. Like, they want those guys to be coaches. So I would say to all the fans who are getting worked up over this, no, you're, you're just being worked right now. This is all This is all just like, you know, people trying well, to show I would them. like to see Usman change the – I would like to see him try to change the narrative. He's doing Because that once right again, now. you're the king. They should be coming to you, right? Might be too that's, late. That's my thought. So – Usman's the king. He's giving Masvidal this. Hey, the reality is, it's if Covington's out, then Usman's giving you. Usman has to approach this like he's giving the platform, right? There is no you on the championship. There is no you on the Ultimate Fighter without me, especially sure. if Kobe's out, right? Like that's what the public needs to see from Kamaru. It should not that's be. What, that's exactly what he's doing, and you're. That's what he for needs it. to do. You're that's falling for it, hook, line, and sinker. That's what he needs to do. Right, but it's he too needs, late. No, he but that's what, what I'm saying. saying. No, that's what he he needs to make it look that way because what did I, I'm his friend, and I told you on Saturday, I think he shouldn't be calling out a challenger. Challenger should always call out the champion, right? That's what you've put yourself in that position in order to be a man that way. 